Good morning everybody. It has been so long, like literally so long since I have filmed a video. I feel like it's almost been a month. So hi, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Peyton. Where to even begin? I don't even know. Basically, this last like rotation of mine has been very chaotic to say the least. I like I literally feel like every part of my life just blew up in front of me. Like we've been going through it over here, but it is a new week and we're just gonna get through it. My internal med rotation fell through for several reasons. So this week is technically supposed to be my last week of internal medicine, but I'm doing three shifts of urgent care and I will have to do internal medicine again um, at another point, which is totally fine. It's okay. Whatever. Not going to get into it. Yeah. So I start urgent care and I'm actually very excited. I'm working at like Kind of, it's kind of like a merge between an emergency room and an urgent care and I'm excited because this is something that I'm like possibly interested in doing post-grad just because I feel like it has a little bit of everything so no matter what I feel like I'm gonna learn a lot today which is what I'm very excited about it's kind of weird because I'm literally only gonna be at this place for three days but whatever I'll meet some people learn some things and at least like just get out of the house I've been literally I haven't like worked in a week and I'm so bored so I'm ready to get back to it and then super Super exciting for my next rotation it is a inpatient psych in Florida and I'm going with three of my PA girlies so that's gonna be really fun we leave for that trip on Saturday we're driving please send all the prayers because that's gonna be rough but yeah also to just add in so many complicated things into the mix I was originally supposed to be living with my family but then now that it got messed up and this urgent care is here in Lansing I'm back here in Lansing and I do have an apartment in Lansing but because I thought I was gonna be gone for the month of November I have a friend from a different program staying in my apartment so I'm staying here at my boyfriend Christian's apartment he's not even home he does have a roommate so that's just a little bit tough I'm not like very close with his roommate but whatever he's been very nice about it so yeah that's just been a little challenging because I feel like I literally have not had a home in so long so anyways things have been literally so chaotic but we're on to new adventures, 9.30. I have a shift today from 10 to 6, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. And uh, that's pretty much all I know about it. I was told to wear scrubs, so I have scrubs. We got new, um, I ordered a state, an MSUPA Patagonia. So I am obsessed with this thing. Um, I also have my white coat, I have my medical supplies, and like my laptop, iPad, all the things. But we'll see what I'll actually need today. So yeah, that's what's been going on. I really did miss you guys. I just like had, an, I did not have a single thing to film. Like, not a single thing. Nothing really good has been happening so I think this week will change that so yeah I will check in with you guys afterwards to see how it went I put a little makeup on today because I was like let's just feel good about life and I think it's helping and it's sunny today which is very much appreciated welcome welcome back to the the PA school life and I'll check in with you guys in a bit can I please do the Culver's deluxe a double please with a side or er, can I like make that like a meal? Okay, with fries and you need a drink. yeah, honestly, I don't need a drink. <laughs> you do not need a drink. No. <laughs> so that's it. So oh wait. Sorry, I'm sorry. I'm like so not okay right now. Can I not do tomato or pickle on that burger? Did I say that? Okay. Hopefully that'll make you feel more okay. Thank you. <laughs> it's gonna be 9:31 and you are good to pull forward. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Did you hear? No, I'm so not okay. <laughs> I actually got so discombobulated when I started talking. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. I hope you enjoy this angle. My baby hairs actually need to go because they make me look crazy, but it is another day. It is Wednesday, my second shift at this urgent care. Yesterday, I didn't chat after because I had some things going on at night yesterday. It was so much fun. I really I like how busy it is like there were always patients to see so many like URIs so many URIs so many like bronchitis sinusitis that sort of stuff I saw some cool things too like and I saw an abscess drainage we saw some like kids like all ages yeah it was cool at this facility you can get like a CT you can get a x-ray um, you can just get things like a little quicker than maybe some other urgent cares but anyways we're back at it again so I'm gonna head upstairs and then I'm gonna drive home today because I have tomorrow off and I have appointments that I need to get done before I leave for Florida so that's what we're gonna do tonight like 
right from here and drive home so I probably won't get home till about 7 30 ish but yeah so far so good I got Starbucks this morning it is the uh, iced sugar cookie almond milk latte and it's just delicious hello friends it is a new day I'm gonna try to set you in my cabinet I actually just got home from the DMV and passport locations to figure out a new passport and I also thought I lost my ID so then I found it so I had to make sure that it wasn't canceled because I made an appointment online whatever so we're at my parents house and today is Thursday right after my shift yesterday I drove here because today I had those two appointments and now is officially the day that I need to pack for Florida I have a month-long rotation in Florida I have a shift tomorrow back in Lansing so I was like let me just pack today spend the day at my parents house get that situated so that tomorrow I can just have my shift and then Saturday morning I'm ready to go um I've been dreading packing literally all week because I do not know what to bring but our friend Jill made the packing list queen so I'm just gonna follow that and then I don't know figure out what I need to bring um so that's pretty much gonna be the rest of my afternoon my mom and I might go to the mall but yeah as for my shift yesterday so much fun I worked with a PA yesterday I love the fast-paced vibes of urgent care. I do get a little tired of seeing URIs, but like other things I find really interesting. I actually have been finding derm stuff interesting. Shingles is always interesting to see, and it's pretty like a, it's a quick diagnosis because you can tell right away. The, the one thing I do like about urgent care is and why I want to do an elective in it is because you can work on your procedure skills. You know, in didactic year we would have like one day where we'd practice like an incision and drainage or something like that it's cool because you do all that stuff in urgent care suturing stuff like that stuff that i just like want to get good at as a pa i feel like i'll get a lot of practice in urgent care yeah that was a good day yesterday um and i also like that you see all ages like we saw yesterday like toddlers all the way through like 80 years old so i like that part of it too you're not like just stuck to like one age group or one demographic i guess let's get to packing for florida <laughs> Oh boy, I also need to like clean out my car because we're taking my car, I need to do laundry, so let's get to it. Just got back from the mall. As you can see, this packing process has begun. It's terrible, like I actually, <laughs> It's so hard to pack for a month in one suitcase. And the kind of person that I am, I like to have different outfits and different selections. I like to basically have my whole closet when I go on vacation and that will not be possible. But I got two sweaters from Madewell because they were having like a 50% off sale. How cute is this one? It's a cute little brown sweater. Um, it fits perfectly, like it hits right at my waist basically, so like it's not cropped, but it's not like too long, so love that. And then this I might bring to Florida just for coziness in the Airbnb. It's a cute little cardigan, and I like this color, like it's like a light tan color. So yeah, like in here in Michigan, this would be so cute with like leggings and Uggs, so I'm very excited about that. I need to finish up my laundry, and then now is grind time my parents might go out to dinner but i won't i'll have them like bring me home something while i finish this i'm gonna probably drive back around nine because i work tomorrow or maybe around like eight i wanted to do like a peloton ride so maybe i'll do like a 30 minute peloton ride that's what's going on so let's keep on packing just showing you guys the categories i have so far just for funsies so basically right here we have my thanksgiving outfit and then we have all of my fun outfits that like don't involve work like if we were ever to go to lunch go out go I don't know like walk on the beach and take cute pictures like those are a few dresses that sort of stuff I feel like I need to add a few more long sleeves to this for the days that it gets a little chillier and honestly I should put my jeans right here I think I'm gonna bring two pairs of jeans so that's one of them so this pile a little chaotic this pile it's like all my sweat shorts and tanks just like if I'm running to the, like the grocery store I don't know if I'm going for a walk like chill stuff also just for hanging out at the house which I also have these two sweatshirts for just a basic black hoodie and then this cute little bear hoodie and then I also have a pair of yoga pants and this cute set from Aerie just for lounging two pairs of pajamas I'll add a third these two are like the cardigan that I just showed you and a flannel for if it gets chilly this stuff is for like kind of also going for walks and stuff like I don't know going to get coffee that sort of thing <laughs> I just have one pair of scrubs out right now my white coat and my Patagonia that says MSU on it 
and then over here I'm working on workout stuff so I think I'm just gonna bring five workout outfits five sports bras and then just wash and switch them out every week basically we did it I'm at my apartment now that's my suitcase I had to take my toiletries out of it to get me through the next two days I've never been more happy in my life to be at this apartment like literally so happy to just be alone right now not with anybody around me in my own space so happy Christian door dashed me food because everywhere I kept going on the road was closed a little coke slushy I needed this today okay let's take a sip Oh my god, that is so good. Fries. Also, by the way, it's like 10 p.m. <laughs> I'm in for my dinner. I did not ask for this. A burger. <laughs> and chicken McNuggets. Six of them. I can't even make that up. Good morning, everybody. Happy Friday. I just pulled my hair back. I don't think that, I don't know if that looks good. We have another urgent care shift today, 10 to 6, and then it's officially time for Florida, and I'll have to like just finalize all of that tonight. Yeah, I can't believe that. I'm just getting ready for the day. I need to, so it's almost 9 o'clock, I need to run to a uh, Walgreens near my office. Uh, Oh my gosh to grab some things for my trip So I'm just leaving a little bit early and I also don't have any food here because I haven't been living here So I need to get like some sort of like protein bar or something. So that is what we are up to as for like makeup today I don't think I'm really gonna do anything I think I'm just gonna wear my glasses and have my hair like this But honestly, I could so see my hair just annoying the crap out of me. So maybe, maybe I'll do like a low pony We are ready to go really quick side bar I got a comment a little bit ago asking about pre-shift anxiety and I don't think like I've really gotten this yet mainly because I feel like as a student you're not doing everything on your own and you have somebody to like lean on like I could so see myself having a lot of pre-shift anxiety once I'm actually working as a PA but for some reason today I'm feeling anxious and I do not know why I think Honestly, a lot of it could be because in the urgent care, they let me do a lot of stuff, which is amazing. And like procedures and stuff like that, I could see myself doing today. So yeah, I don't know. It's a weird feeling, but I feel like it's common too and something you just have to work through. Like I bet you once I get there and once I start seeing patients and everything, I'll feel very much in the groove. But yeah, I had yesterday off, so I don't know. I just feel like out of it. But And it could be because I slept so beyond bad that I just don't feel my best, but We'll get through it. It's 9.03. I'm going to leave now just to get to this Walgreens early. Yeah, we have the black figs on today. Some cool Nike shoes. And I need to find my glasses. Um, so yeah, let's have a good shift. I'll tell you guys about my day. We don't get like a lunch or anything. Um, it's an eight-hour shift, but like we get to like take a break. It's just not like an official break. Um, so I will probably just won't talk to you guys till we are back home for the day. Worked 10 to 6 today and it was my last day just because like I said this wasn't my like original rotation So it was just a few filler days moral of the story. I loved it. Anyways, it is 804 I was going to work out and stuff, but like I just I don't know I just needed to like shower and I need to edit a YouTube video and I just finished packing So all in all I just needed tonight to like chill and get my life together because I need to make sure I can sleep well tonight since we have like such a long day tomorrow. Make sure you guys are subscribed to see some Florida vlogs of us on rotation. Yeah, I'm excited. So bye-bye to rotation number three, which did not go as planned, but I feel like this next one is going to be a good one and I'll give you guys all the deets. So thank you guys for watching and hopefully I'll see you in my next video.